If you're a Christian, one of the things that you're really missing right now is church. Why is that? Is it because you're missing seeing your brothers and sisters in Christ on a regular basis? Is it because you're missing the purpose and feeling of value that came from helping out on Sunday mornings? Is it because it was just such an ingrained habit that not going to church on Sunday mornings just feels weird? Or is it because on Sundays, you got to gather together in a special way in God's presence? Is it because you miss that awesome feeling of confessing your sins and then the, the feeling of the collective weight of sins being taken off your shoulders and all the people around you when you hear that your sins are forgiven? Is it because you miss getting to belt out to God in the hymns how much you love him and how much you're thankful to him? Is it because you miss the special way of gathering together with Christians around God? The rest of the world simply can't understand how Christians feel right now about not getting to go to church because you know that it's simply not psychological, but that it's spiritual on the deepest of levels. It's awesome that we have the technology to stream church services and join with our brothers and sisters that way. And God promises us that his word is just as effective and that we receive just as much grace when we worship that way. But God did design us humans to gather together around him and his word physically to physically bask in the peace and security of being together as redeemed children of God. It's really just as simple as that. David ends his masterful Psalm 23, the one that started with these words, the Lord is my shepherd. He ends it with a promise that ought to move every Christian with deep joy, especially now in the times that we find ourselves in. David says this, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A time is coming, David says, when he gets to be in God's temple forever. The temple in God's day was different than our church buildings today. The temple was meant to be a representation of God's presence on earth. After Jesus came, he told us that we're going to start worshiping in spirit and that wherever two or three gather together in his name, there he is with us. So we don't go to temple anymore. Instead, when Jesus died, the way into God's presence was opened for all people everywhere to simply gather together through faith. And so whenever Christians gather in faith, God reassures us that he's right there with us, working through his spoken word. But when we can't meet together, we get the feeling that God's not with us like he is when we're together in church. Now, nothing can be farther from the church, from nothing can be farther from the truth. God is with you just as much when you are alone as when you are gathered together with other people. But you just still, as a human, the way that you've been physically designed, you still can't shake that feeling of emptiness when you can't gather with other Christians in the house of the Lord. The feeling will end one day when we die we will get exactly what David is talking about here. We will dwell in God's house forever. We will dwell in his presence forever with all other believers from all of human history. And this is an amazing thing to think about. It's waiting for you, this promise of David's, the heavenly temple of being in God's presence forever the presence of your God that lived and died and rose for you and now reigns for you. And so when you recite the words of David in Psalm 23, just as David yearned with his heart to be in that eternal house of the Lord, you go right ahead and you yearn with him. And to end this study that we've had on Psalm 23, I think it's been nine or 10 devotions, we're gonna end by praying together Psalm 23. Let's pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the paths, the right paths for his namesake. 
Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.